Should government be in the business of running banks? Now, let's, let's be clear what we're talking about here, yeah, because the government not, has right, right, a very big running. stake in Citi, in B of A. Yes. It has uh, uh, capitalization you know, positions in a lot of banks. So it's got, it's got a, a, a 40% position, or it'll get to that, in Citi. That's not complete nationalization. Right. But, of course, they can tell the banks what to do anyway. It's a very difficult question, again. These are not easy questions, and they don't have quick answers. But I think the word nationalization has sort of gotten misinterpreted. Yes. And Lindsay and I are closer than you'd think on this right, issue, and, right. and so are a lot of others. There's what I call good nationalization and bad nationalization. Bad nationalization, the federal government comes in, takes over, and runs a bank. Right. The federal government is bad at making those type of decisions. The danger of crony capitalism, you know, the federal government or some powerful senator, president, someone saying, do this because I, I believe in this project or that, it's non-economic, bad. What is good nationalization? We probably should have a better term. Some people have called it, uh, have, have come up with other terms, receivership, um, receivership yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. The government and the FDIC has done this. We did this during the SNL crisis. Once these evaluations occur, there may be some banks, we don't know which ones, and I'm not going to name any, um, that will never make it. And Lindsay is exactly right, and he's been saying this to his credit. You don't just keep putting money in, money in, money in, and then the bank never solves itself. You've got to come clean. What you do is the federal government comes in, it clears out the management, it tells the existing stockholders, you're gone. It takes the bad assets and takes them off the bank's books right. and then recapitalizes the bank with private dollars and a new private group and management run it. But do you think that the government be, is, is the government dithering right now no. with capital injections the I way think, they've been doing it? David, I think what they have to do is not act first and then think and evaluate, but the opposite. They are now evaluating these right. banks. That's Each stress, one yes. is different. Mm -hmm. Each one is different mm -hmm. because of their loan portfolio and everything else. Mm -hmm. A quick answer, one side fits all, doesn't work. I have talked to Secretary Geithner. He is very thoughtful about this. Larry Summers is. They're what the American people would want. They're deep, right. they're practical, and they're non-ideological. They're going to come up with different solutions for different institutions. But taxpayers are going to have to pay more money for the banks. Is that your belief? Well, we'll have to wait and see. I uh, mean, they haven't there's come There's $750 up. billion dollars in this budget. The president has said it's going to go beyond the TARP he money put, that's there right he now. He put another $250 in, and that's in case, God forbid, there's an emergency. Right now, we don't have an emergency the way we had with Bear Stearns and with AIG mm -hmm. uh, they, right before. And so they have a little bit of breathing space to analyze this and do it right. Do it strongly, but do it right. And that means one size doesn't fit all. But I don't believe there's enough money in TARP two to stabilize housing and deal with uh, undercapitalized banks. So the Federal Reserve is a player in this. But politically, I may be wrong, Chuck, but politically we're at a spot now where the Congress is not going to reauthorize a TARP three. There just isn't the political will. There's just not the political will unless something new happens. And when the stress tests are administered and you can see that this bank is a zombie bank, mm -hmm. I think there's growing political will that we're not going to keep throwing good money after bad. All right. I want That's to get true, into it. But there's just one other point here. It's very expensive to even do the good nationalization. Right. A lot of these banks, to take over their bad sure. assets sounds nice and easy. Oh, you put them aside here. Right. No, no, no. You have to make up for what they are on the books versus and what if they their continue actual to lose value money, is. Exactly. The, the so, government could be on the hook So for there a lot is more. not a quick and okay. easy answer. One other thing I'd say on the TARP, I think it will not, certainly. And the president, I think, is aware of this. It certainly will not be renewed without really tough oversight with much stronger uh, parts of executive limits on executive compensation. I like clawbacks, for instance. And without some guarantees that if we're going to put any more money in, we're going to actually see lending to his car buyer and to my small right. business in New York.